For the past few months, my life has been kind of all over the place. I haven't been working out, I haven't eaten the way I should, the work-life balance was non-existent, my house been a hot mess, and I've been feeling a bit down, to be honest. But that is changing, because I am becoming a that girl. Wait a sec. Last piece of chocolate. Okay, from now, I'm becoming a dead girl. One of my unhealthy habits recently has definitely been eating chocolate as soon as I wake up. I would make a cup of tea, healthy, but then I would take two pieces of dark chocolate and ruin everything. That girl would not approve. But anyway, this is all changing right now because I'm becoming a dead girl. As I'm saying that, I just realized that I'm wearing pajamas and a jacket on top, which doesn't seem like a dead girl thing to wear, but it makes sense in my head. Right, so who is a dead girl? I don't watch TikTok, so I don't even know. I've seen it pop up here and there in some videos, so I think this is a girl that has her shit together. Is that it? That girl is an aesthetic where women, typically from college age to early 30s, show... To early 30s? Okay, that means that... I'm a fake. Um, I cannot be a dead girl because I'm 36. Rude. I can only be that woman, that old girl, that granny. Whatever, let's see how to be that girl checklist. Even though I'll never be one because it's too late. Got my checklist here, let's write it down. Wake up early. It's currently 8 o'clock, I've been awake since 6.30. I took a shower, I washed my hair, there was no warm water, I don't know why. So I had a pretty stressful morning. But check, I woke up early. Start the day meditating. Haven't done this in 8 months. Drink water, exercise every day, eat healthy, wear cute clothes. I mean, this is cute, it's just kind of confusing. Organize your life. My house has been crazy for a while now. We definitely need to focus on this. Be productive, self-care, prioritize yourself, journaling. You know what, I'm just gonna start my day and let's see how many of these things we can accomplish. My gosh, this combination looks so bad. I think I need to stop wearing Crocs immediately if I wanna even be considered joining that girl's club. That's better. Drink more water, check. Next, I wanna do my makeup. Is that girl even wearing makeup? She probably doesn't need any because her skin is radiant and flawless and perfect. Mine, on the other hand, is inflamed, red, and yeah, I'm putting makeup on. My makeup bag is currently in the wash because a product exploded while I was traveling. So now all my makeup necessities are stored in this unicorn mug. Accurate representation of how my life's been going recently, but also could be worse. Guys, I have just turned 36 recently and I have spotted this white brow and she is so long. Like, what is she doing? I think I need to cut her. Look at her. What is this? Getting old, guys, it's no joke. That's it, this is what I'm doing for the makeup today and the hair, I'm just gonna leave it. I just heard some gunshots while doing my makeup and whenever this happens, probably a hunter or something, I don't know. Whenever this happens and Tani is not inside, she's on her walk, I get super scared. So now I came outside and I'm gonna look for her. Tani, Tani! Tani, Tani, Tani! Are you somewhere here? Tani, Tani! Tenny, tenny. She hides under this palm tree sometimes, but I guess not today. I'm sure she's fine, but it's just... Can you please come home now? It's such a pretty day today. I mean, look at that. It is so bright though. We gotta pick up an outfit and we need to make sure it's something cute. Oh gosh, now that is... Um... That girl would never accept a closet like this. She would never. never. She would not tolerate this situation. It screams messy, unproductive, disgusting. Being the worst version of oneself. Why is there socks in a helmet? But I'm here to tell that girl that it is not my fault. My closet has been in the works for a year. It's now finished and I've been waiting for this phrase for half a year and they're now here. And why is my closet still looking like this then? I don't know. That girl is disappointed. You could never be that girl anyway, but now you lost the dead granny title too. <laughs> why was that girl wearing a scarf? I don't know. It's chic and she's a chic girl. You know what, that girl faces all the challenges with a positive mindset. When there's obstacles, she makes a game plan, she gets things done, and she succeeds. 
I am going to organize my closet today and make that girl proud. We'll see about that. But first, let me just pick an outfit because that girl would not spend an entire day wearing pajamas. It would make her feel unaccomplished, unproductive, a failure. So what should we wear? I know I should probably go for something cutesy like this skirt and a little cardigan. But listen, I'm gonna be in here sorting out this wardrobe for hours, so I need something cozy. Cute and comfy. Plus I'm currently wearing an outfit that resembles a fluffy cloud and I would like to maintain the same level of coziness going forward. Thank you. That girl understands. Sweatshirts are considered cute, right? This is the best I can do today. Plus I put on Crocs again because I'm gonna be on my feet the whole day. And they're just the most comfy shoes ever. I'm sorry. I'm first gonna sort all the clothes into three categories. Keep, donate, trash. Although I don't think I have too many things to throw in the trash. But there's definitely a lot of things here that I'm not wearing. And some of them will go into the DIY room, maybe for future DIYs. Some of them I'm gonna donate. Let's see how it goes. By the way, Tanny is still not home and I'm getting stressed. Mommy's worried, okay? Come home. See, this is what I'm confused with, like this DIY short. They're still a nice pair of shorts, but I'm not wearing them. I'm thinking if I should put them into the DIY room. Yeah, I think that's the move. You guys, this feels so freeing. Look at me. I'm getting things done, embracing the positive attitude. That girl is proud. Miss teacher, who remembers? Another Miss Teacher. Oh, guys, this feels so nice. But now I need breakfast. Look who finally decided to get back home. Next time when I call you, you come home immediately. Understood? Understood. I'm having a bit quicker lunch today. Quinoa crackers, avocado and an apple. Not the most elaborated, but taste-wise still elite. How about I eat my breakfast and journal at the same time? Plus I'm sunbathing and absorbing the vitamin D. That woman at its finest. Before bringing clothes to the closets, we need to buy some baskets, some organizers, things like that. I got him! Whole time! Basically we got a ton of these corduroy baskets, some small ones, some larger ones, and a bunch of super large ones. Besides that, I also got some hangers and let's get to work. I just brought over all my hoodies and sweatshirts and I realized I have an issue with hoodies and sweatshirts. A huge issue. One, two... 19 and there's probably two to three sweatshirts in the wash. I have 22 sweatshirts. Is that normal? I don't think so. There's definitely some that I'm wearing more than others. For example, this one. This is an old sweatshirt. I am not wearing it a lot, but sometimes for gardening, I'm wearing this guy. So I need it. I'm just gonna hang the main ones, the ones that I'm wearing often, and the other ones I'm gonna put in one of the baskets. Sweat shorts volume one, sweat shorts volume two. Here we have sweatpants. I'm realizing that I never have to buy any piece of clothing ever in my life. How many blue jean shorts does a person need? Definitely not four. Oh, excuse me, five. Oh no, six. I shall never ever buy jean shorts ever again, promise. Thank you. 
Good morning! Closet organization took the whole afternoon yesterday, but that's okay because we are continuing with that girl challenge today. Literally five minutes ago it was raining, which I was not expecting, but also when do things go as expected. Luckily I'm seeing some blue skies again, so we're good. It is around 8 o'clock now, but I actually woke up way earlier than that because at 4 o'clock in the morning Danny had an urge to go out. So I get up, I open up the door, she goes out, I go back to sleep. At around 5 a.m. I woke up again and I was thinking, oh my gosh, she may be cold outside, I need to go check. So I get up again, check outside the house, she was not there, I go back to sleep. Half an hour later, I hear meowing, so I get up again, I let her in, and yeah, that was my morning. I did woke up early, but maybe it wasn't that zen and relaxing as that girl would want it to be. And what's funny is that after she makes me wake up so many times during the night, when I actually wake up, then she goes back to sleep and sleeps like a baby for basically the rest of the day. And what's even more funny is that even if she does that, I still love her to death. Next, let's do a little meditation. Another beautiful, beautiful morning. Look at that. What a check. I haven't seen any dead girls talking about drinking tea, but I would recommend them to hop on the train and start drinking herbal teas. Because you are missing out, but if you want to only stick to water, do you boo. I really want to film doing my makeup outside, but the sun is just so bright, I don't think it will work. Well, hello, that's a really cool spot to film makeup. Doing makeup outside is great in terms of lighting, but you can also see all the pores and when you're 36 like me, you can see all the wrinkles. So that takes a bit of a joy away. When I'm doing my makeup inside in the dark, I always feel like I'm doing such a great job, but now that I'm actually seeing things, it looks really wonky. Today is seriously strange. Before I started applying makeup, it was so bright and sunny, I showed you, and now it's gonna start raining. It's like what, five minutes later? Okay, that eyebrow. Can you guys see it? It is so long, it's like two centimeters. It's over. Goodbye. None of my other eyebrows grows that long. She's the only one. Now that's taken care of. Let's go pick the outfit in my new wardrobe. Just kidding, I'm first eating breakfast. First food, then fashion. <gasps> Getting a good avocado always sparks so much joy. Embrace the positive attitude, check. Is eating outside in the rain considered therapeutic or madness? I'm having goat cheese and avocado, my favorite combo right now. Time to pick a cute outfit, but let's take a second and appreciate this gorgeous new closet. I think it looks so good. I'm so happy with the colors of the baskets that we went for. We're definitely gonna go more towards this kind of color scheme in our house. For example, we're planning to replace our gray couch with a mustard one very soon. Looking forward to that. Here I put hoodies, t-shirts, dresses, jackets. Here we were supposed to have a clothing rack too, but after six months of waiting for the rails, the package finally arrived and guess what? This one was missing. Here I will probably hang mini skirts, shorts, but TBD when this is actually happening. I'm so excited to finally be able to see what I actually have because you saw that for the past year all my clothes were just sitting in one big disorganized pile. But at least before I had an excuse to dress like a child every single day and now no excuses. I'm gonna have to become a bit more fashionable. Yeah. That would be tough. See, I could pick up a skirt today, but it is really quite cold and I don't want to get sick, so I'm just gonna have a sweatshirt and when it gets warmer, my fashion sense will start improving, okay? Does this sound like a plan? Bad girl, please, can you approve? Thank you. She approved. What? I know it's a sweatshirt again, but look, it has brown color. It's trendy. I am gonna spend a few hours editing today. I am so jealous of creators that just send their footage to the editors 
and they just get back a finished video. I cannot relate. But at the same time, I do love editing a lot. It just takes up so much of my time. For example, for a 20 to 30 minute video, I need 10 full days of editing. Besides that, I wanna film some shorts, edit those, it's a lot, but it's fine. More water, check! I'm thinking, what would that girl eat for lunch? She wouldn't order a delivery service, that's for sure, and thanks God, because no delivery service delivers to where I live, aka in the middle of nowhere. I'm about to do the most dead girl thing ever, I'll go pick up some veggies from my veggie patch. Yes, I grow my own veggies now, although I don't know if that's a dead girl thing to do. Maybe that's more a cottage core or farmer girl's aesthetic. I don't know. I'm sorry, it's difficult for a 36 year old granny to keep up with trendy things like this. Look at me being an independent woman at its finest. I don't need no supermarket, I can grow my own food. I definitely need to wait a bit longer for the carrots, but let's try this one. Mmm! That's one of the sweetest, best carrots I've ever eaten. And I'm not just saying that because I grew it. Okay, maybe I am a bit biased. We have some turkey, broccoli, homegrown salad, radish, and avocado. Yum! This is a delicious lunch. I think that girl is surprised, proud, and shocked. Looking at this checklist, two things we haven't done yet are exercising and learning new things. How about we merge these two things together, we go on a hike, and we take a drone with us. Because I've had this drone for a few years now, and I haven't learned how to use it yet, but I wanted to do that ever since I got it. First of all, it was quite expensive, so it's a shame that it is just laying there. And second, I could use it to enhance my videos, right? I think this is a great plan for this afternoon. The amount of volume that a ponytail gives you, Goodbye volume. Actually, I don't need a hat because it's really not that cold. So, change of plans. We're not going on a hike and I'm not learning how to fly a drone. Today, I'm gonna do it another day. Instead, we're gonna go on a basketball court and we're gonna play a little bit there. That's gonna be my little workout for the day and as for learning new things, I'm just gonna drive. Because you see, I've had my driver's license for 18 years and I haven't been driving for 16 of those years. In Norway, we didn't have a car. We were just using public transport and then we moved here. We bought this car and it's not that I'm learning. I know how to drive a car, but I am still a bit anxious when I have to drive. So I gotta push myself. I want driving a car to become completely chill to me, like I want to enjoy it. I want it to be like eating lunch, relaxing and enjoyable. To get there I'm gonna keep practicing, I'm gonna keep gaining experience and sooner or later I'm gonna be an anxiety free driver. Our first stop today is a local farm where we're gonna pick the eggs, 18 to be exact because I've been eating quite a lot of eggs recently and I want them to be top notch, from happy chickens, eating grass, all that. Got them, and I also got a little flower, so cute. Eggs are secured, next stop, basketball court. I just hope it will not start raining. Guys, let's be clear, I'm not here to show off my basketball skills because they are non-existent. I'm just here to do some stretches just for funsies and to make that girl happy. That's it. It started raining so I had to finish my workout. Not my fault. Mother Nature said enough. Now we're gonna go eat something, buy some groceries, I think a few pieces of furniture. Let's see. 
How would that girl end her day? Would she go for one hour long swim in the ocean because she's not afraid of sharks? Maybe run a half marathon to clear her head because being perfect is exhausting? Or do a face mask and a 10 step skincare routine? Or meditate for two hours? Or read three self-improvement books? She definitely wouldn't spend her precious time mindlessly scrolling TikTok. Which honestly I would neither, but I could spend hours watching YouTube, which is just as toxic. So we can do that. Mommy's bored. You know what? Let's end this thing the best way possible. Let's not just make that girl proud. Let's make her a little jealous as well. Come. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna lay here on my terrace, wrap up in cozy blankets, sip on some herbal tea, pet my cat and watch the sunset. Cannot think of a better that girl way to end the day. So yummy. I had to bring a little sausage here. Otherwise, I think she would escape. But for the sausage, you stay, right? Let's see how long she stays now that the sausage is gone. This is exactly the way how we spend every evening. Just watching TV or YouTube, I lay on the couch and Tani is between my legs like this. But since we are dead girls today, we cannot watch TV. And honestly, I don't miss it because this is just so much better. Bye, Tani. It was nice hanging out with you. And also, bye guys. See you soon.